I don't like the shape of this one, so I'm going to come in and repair it. We'll start with cleaning the drop screw, which is here. This just gets polished up quickly. Polished up quickly. And we come in and flatten the uh, knuckle. See, it has little bumps in it. Just from use. I want it smooth, I like it smooth, but I don't I can't have the ridges in it, so they need to come out. Okay, now our next thing. They they don't articulate, so they have to be popped apart and fixed. So we come to here, I'm gonna find my light. Once the sun goes down, it gets harder and harder to hold the level of illumination that we need to do the work safely. That comes here. Now, this is felt, and those little pins, they run on felt. They lock in the wood, but they run in the felt. So the felt needs to be what's called burnished, which is squished and heated until it's shiny. But this part of it is scratchy, so I can use this to kind of sandpaper it. See, I do it graduated. Those are two pins. They need to be polished because if they're smooth, they work better. So we come here. because these turn in the felt, so it's very important that they're smooth. So we just clean them up a little bit. Sometimes they're messed up, sometimes not too bad. These ones are not too bad. Now the question is, will it lock in the wood? Yes. Okay. Actually, that's not bad. I thought we'd have to go to the next one. You can see I have four of them out. Okay, so burnishing, speed, and it makes heat. So that compresses the felt and heats it, and it gets hot. Like that, and we come here, and like this, and this, and this, and this comes in. Like this, that's in position. Now we've got the squisher, we come here. Lay it in and squish. Cut off. I made that tool and it cuts flat. Doesn't have any now. Spec. Okay, same thing here. We start with the smallest. You have to be very careful where you insert these. You can really damage these felts so quickly. 
No, I'm just augering. I'm not burning, burnishing. I'm just augering. Auger one. This is 49. Auger two. See how we're doing here on fit. Not good enough. Other three. It has to turn smoothly, but still kind of grip. So I'm going to auger like this. Take my time. The augering is it's rougher here, so it will scrape away a little bit. And now I'll burnish. High speed. And I can feel it on my fingertips. It gets hot. I can feel it there. I mean hot. Now we do the test. Because I can stick it in and see. Perfect. Okay, so we flip this around. We come into here. We come into here. And come in like this. Put our piece in. Like this. Like this. And once you go for it, you go for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, I need three. One, two, three, four, five. I could have used a little bit more augering. One, two, and a little. Okay. okay. Now, we take this one and this one. The bigger one is this one. It goes to this side. And we'll walk over to the piano. Okay, these are marked in blue because they need to be re-glued. They're just not totally tight on there, so I'll re-glue them tonight. And then the screws just go in lightly right now. And so we're still not done, but we're close. Uh, from here, what will happen is that um, when these get tightened, these will come up, and I'll have to take the capstans adjustment and bring them down. Then I'm going to need to uh, regulate them so that they come up the right amount and set the drop, and that will uh, conclude this rebuild. But at least now I have felts that have real felt, and so the tone will be rich like this. It's a very unusual piano. These were not made for this but it will give a better tone because it's it's heavier wood a little bit and uh, and it's a robust piece. So these are warm because I replaced these with the Steinway B. These are Steinway B. These are dead stock and these are stock, but these were fine. These were fine. These were too bright. That's why we're doing it. And those were down to the wood and were junk. So it was a big job, but it turned. And then, of course, they have to be lined up onto the uh, strings as well, but they do look level, so it looks to me. So anyway, that's the scoop.